15 years ago. <laughs> this was a while back when I was a little toddler. My parents just chucked me in the water, so off I swam, and I guess I got it going that way. Uh, since then, I started going to club teams, uh, and then also varsity swimming, and off there just branched off, and I came here, which is awesome. This is a D1 school, so it kind of emphasizes everything. I put a lot of uh, thought into how we swam, you know, how hard, how much team and uh, effort everyone individually put in. So all those things go through mind in those 5 a.m. mornings, you don't want it to go in vain. So just kind of put it in there, thought about all those things, and that kind of led you to, or led me to push. In a sense, yeah, uh, I knew I had it in me. It's just a matter of uh, just tweaking it mentally. So. I knew the work before from all those months of hard training was there, so it's just a matter of tweaking myself. And when it came down to it, uh, I was happy how it did. Um, definitely there's a lot of emphasis on the alumni and the whole program before us too, so it's not only us and our coach emphasizes that. And now that I'm upperclassman, I kind of realize that you know there's a whole tradition going all the way back to the start. So I mean, it's not always you. You know, it might be the best, one of the best, but in reality, it's the whole team that's put together that gets that driving force in that. So. Uh, Michael's a force to be reckoned with. He's a physical specimen. Um, he's accomplished a lot uh, within the program up to this point, which is two years of involvement. And to be honest with you, after last year's experience and the development that he had from his freshman year to sophomore year, we're expecting even more out of him. Uh, he's, he's one of a core of about five guys that really have the ability to take us to the next level and defining this program uh, nationally by advancing people to the NCAA meet. And Michael's menu is pretty full with the event options that he has to get to that meet. All the way from the 50 free, which he posted at the time, which uh, uh, was our second fastest ever in A-10 history, uh, all the way up to the 200 back. Uh, he literally has five events that he has a serious chance at making NCAAs in, and he realizes that. The one thing that's different in him this year than last year is he seems to embrace that. Uh, uh, Michael understands that he could accomplish a lot and that we talk a lot about uh, not looking in the rearview mirror and the last thing I want are kids to be looking at us 10 years from now when they're in their 30s and, and wishing they could have done different things and uh, Michael's a kid that has a, a huge upside uh, with what he has uh, the ability to do and hopefully he's going to take advantage of all those gifts that he has in order to accomplish that.